Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we are talking about SaaS metrics. Watch this video to know which metrics we suggest tracking to ensure SaaS success and growth. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. We at Jelvix work with software as a service companies a lot. One of their priorities is to identify points of growth and reduction marks with the help of key metrics interpretation. And we are excited to explain which metrics are most useful. Actually, SAS metrics can be split according to their purpose. Let's look at every group. The first group is growth metrics. We use them to quickly get the information about general performance and where to develop further. So let's see which metrics we suggest tracking. First, monthly recurring revenue, which shows recurring revenue per month and is one of the vital metrics that should be tracked in SaaS reporting. To get it, you need to multiply the number of customers by the average amount built. Annual recurring revenue is calculated by multiplying monthly recurring revenue by 12. Talking about churn rates, we define customer churn rate and revenue churn rate. Customer churn rate indicates the number of customers who left after signing on. Besides monthly figures, annual customer churn is essential too. Revenue churn rate indicates the rate of lost monthly recurring revenue due to subscriptions downgrade and unsubscribe customers. Gross margin is a revenue ratio left after the withdrawal of costs for customer acquisition and service. We also suggest calculating EBITDA SM, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, amortization, sales, and marketing. The common performance benchmark for the overall software business is to follow the 40% rule. The essence of the rule is that the SaaS growth rate, net MRR growth rate, plus EBITDA SM should stay at the greater than 40% level. Which of the mentioned metrics is the most useful one to track company progress? Share your thoughts in the comments section. The second group is sales metrics, revealing insights regarding your sales team efficiency, the validity of the pricing model, and the customer lifetime with your service. The first metric is annual contract value, which represents annual income per contract. Total contract value respectively shows income during the whole period of the contract. Average revenue per account indicates how much revenue is committed by a standard customer. Customer acquisition cost is one of the most important metrics. You need to divide your sales and marketing expenses by the number of new customers. We at Jelvix also track customer acquisition cost payback period. It shows how much time it takes to cover the cost of signed customer acquisition. It is counted by dividing CAC by MRR per customer. Customer lifetime value represents the total revenue brought by the customers during the whole subscription period. Well, to understand if the business will gain money in the distant future, we need to keep the customer lifetime value to customer acquisition cost ratio on a level of more than three. And a simple way to check sales efficiency is to count the rate of one contracts. This is calculated as a share of one deals out of total deals. Here we'd also suggest reading our list of the best SaaS business ideas to get more inspiration on the topic. The third group of metrics is customer success metrics and it includes daily active users and monthly active users mean the number of unique users who interacted with your product during a day or a month, respectively. Net Promoter Score asks a single question about the possibility of recommending a service or brand to a friend or a colleague. Based on the answers to this questionnaire, we divided the customers into three groups, such as detractors, people who don't like the service, passives, those who are indifferent, Promoters, people who like and would be happy to recommend the service. So the formula of NPS is percent of promoters minus the percent of detractors. Another important metric is customer satisfaction score. It is used to get users' thoughts about particular features of the product. To count CSAT, the users are asked to rate the product and or its features on the scale 1 to 3, 0 to 7, 1 to 10, etc. Upsell and cross-sell rates are used to calculate how well existing customers are upgrading their accounts or buying additional services or features. Referral revenue is a total income by successful customer referrals over the period. 
To gain insights from this figure, it should be compared to the number of investments to the referral program. SaaS valuation metrics serve one goal, to help you make optimal decisions to drive your business. It can be a compass pointing in the right direction of causes, growth opportunities, and ultimate solutions. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We provide software development, UI UX design, and testing services to top brands worldwide. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share our experience of working with startups and enterprises. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to like this video and hit the bell button. Bye for now.